Well, you really got me this time. I, uh, I really bought it, too. You reeled me right in with that, that, that oh-so-sincere look of yours. I bought the whole thing. I, I thought we were this close to getting back together. What are you talking about? I thought we felt something, Liza. I looked into your heart and I thought we felt something, all those things that we haven't been able to say. There were no words, but I thought I, I could swear. You were thinking, Adam, I still love you. Whatever you're thinking. No, it was a sham. Wasn't it? I know about, all about the scheme up in the bedroom, Liza. Well, then why are you so upset? <laughs> I, used to, I used to love that, that diabolic, no-holds-barred side of you, but you, this time, you've gone too far! You've gone too damn far! Using Stuart was beneath contempt. Oh, on the contrary, it was genius. It was shameful. It was a great move. It was, it was checkmate. No. You want to come after me, fine. Give it your best shot. Oh, Adam. But you hurt Stuart, and you have an enemy for life. Stuart? Hurt? He was confused, he's ashamed. He trusted you. Uh, I made sure he was so okay. You did what? He volunteered. To be lured into Marion's web? No one was lured. He had no idea what you two were up to. I told him everything that was... My, my mother. Your mo mother. You fed him to that piranha in a penoir. Oh, how, do, how does my mother fit in? She's not fit to mother a jackal. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Maybe we should just start at the beginning. Oh, you're going to plead ignorance? That's your defense? I think maybe you can do a little better than that. You know what? I don't need to defend myself. Your mother came by to see me today. No, you know, she's just been acting a little weird lately. Yes, she was so weak. She was so proud of herself, waving her evidence in my face. You know what? She wasn't even involved. She wasn't involved. She couldn't wait to flaunt her victory. Well, what is my mother's greatest sin? Did she steal a credit card, Adam, and max it out? Did she get caught in the boathouse with the chauffeur? I mean, what? What really is it? What, what is it? You know what? What hurts me most about this is your role in it. Uh, the cruel and, and, and ugly way that you involved my brother. Stuart is an innocent. He never hurt you. He never let you down. He never lied to you. How could you do this? He's family. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I swear. You and Marion are going to regret this someday. Mother, I know you're screening. I don't have all day. Listen, Mother, Adam came in here and he was screaming. He cleaned my clock about something that you're up to your neck in. You've got some explaining to do, Mother. Call me.
her wedding day. You're a beautiful bride, Joy. Absolutely beautiful. from the outfit your work for me. I'm Adam Chandler. Yes, sir. I know, sir. I recognize you from your portrait in the lobby. Adam Chandler. You're new, eh? Yes, sir. Started last week, sir. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. I, I really like the gung-ho, but uh, right now we need finesse. Uh, yes, sir. Sir. Er. It would appear that uh, we have an uninvited resident staying here. Uh, I think I know who it is. You do, sir. Yes, and I think she'll be by soon to collect her thing. And you want me to haul her in? No, no. I want I want you to um, check the perimeter and secure it, and then go back to your post on the first floor. That door right over there is the only access to this area. Keep your eye on it. Yes, sir. If you see a beautiful young blonde, detain her. Come and get me. I'll be in my office. I will secure the area, sir. As soon as I saw her crossing the lobby, I pounced. Blonde. Gorgeous. I gotta tell you, she's got some mouth on her. Really? So I thought I'd better not take any chances and get her in the elevator to your office. And this is the scene of the crime, so to speak. Yes, yeah, good thinking. Oh, you have her locked in, right? Oh, yes, sir. She's not getting away. Ah, well, then I think I can take it from here. You get back to your post, and uh, thank you for a job well done. Aye, aye, sir. not enjoy being rousted by your hired gorilla, Adam. Why didn't you tell him who you were? Well, you know what? Rambo wasn't really that interested, but you better be. If you do not let me out of here right now, I will level a charge of kidnapping was, against it you. It was all a misunderstanding, Liza. I really like you showing up at my office and spewing accusations at me was a misunderstanding. Uh, kissing me and barging out of my office was a misunderstanding. Did you really think I was going to be able to go along with my work day after you came in and exercised such cruelty? It's what you deserve for setting up Stuart. I, I did nothing. I love Stuart like a brother. Yeah, that's what Kane said to Abel. What, what crime do you feel like I've committed? That you would sick some goon on me to imprison me? What in the hell are you doing skulking around this deserted building in the middle of the night? Oh, my God. Oh. Why didn't I think of this before? It all fits. What does? The girl, the floating coffin, the projections, Stuart, you get a quickie settle, quickie divorce and, and a huge settlement out of that. As usual, Mr. Chandler, you have lost me. How did you find out about Joy? How do you know all those details? Joy. I'm trying to think. Don't push me. I'll push you? Well, how'd I, what, what did you do, snoop around the attic? No, it was Stuart, of course, that was, that's where you got those details, you, from poor innocent Stuart. How did you, how did you find the Joy look-alike? In the yellow pages? Frighten me, Adam. Well, good. I turned the tables on you. I was supposed to be the one frightened, wasn't I? I don't know who or what you're talking about. I'm talking about gaslighting. And you're not going to get away with it. You know, don't think you are. Throw your blood pressure right to the moon. Look, what are you doing? Isn't that the idea, my blood pressure to the moon? Is Jake in on this? Oh, Tad, of course Tad is in on this. He helped the magicians that first night. The, the floating coffin, the, the, uh, the bloody water. Every time Joy has appeared, Tad has been there. He's with her right now, isn't he? That's it. 
You are not a well man. I'm calling for help. No, you're not. I'm not calling anybody. Adam. Adam, just sit down. Take a breath. Don't tell me what to do. This is not good for you. You are jeopardizing your health. I finally understand joy. Joy, you gaslight me with joy. And if I pop a couple of arteries and, 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 and drop dead, all the better. Because a widow gets a lot more than a divorcee. Adam, I had no part in, in whatever this joy business is. I don't even know who she is. The least that can happen is that I get declared insane and you put me away and then you get everything. I swear to you, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Nothing? Nothing? How about this? Take a look. Here. How about this duct tape? How about the chloroform? Recognize that? Does that make sense, Adam? This is what you've been working toward the whole time, isn't it? Is somebody plotting against you? Are they trying to hurt you? <laughs> yes, they are. Guess who? Oh, you think I would try to hurt you? In a heartbeat. Oh, that's good. That's good. That reaction is good. A judge might buy that. I just don't understand why you could be so cruel to me. Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Yes, I do. Because of all the deceitful, conniving women I have ever met in my life, and there have been quite a few, believe me, you're the worst. You're, you're the worst because I let you get closer to me than anybody else. And you know why I did that? Because I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved any other woman in my life. And what you and your mother did to Stuart was unforgivable. I couldn't imagine anything lower or more treacherous. But you could. You managed to savage the memory of joy. Losing her left a scar on my heart that it took 20 years to heal. But you didn't hesitate to walk right in and rip that scar wide open. Adam. Well, you, you've won the day, Liza. You can have your divorce. The sooner the better.